what is good youtube nako speaking i hope you guys are doing well um welcome back to another video if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification so that you get notified when i upload a new video please like and share the video at the end and yeah in today's video i'll be showing you guys and explaining how to use the m and w pattern in the forex market and yeah without further ado let's get into the video uh so here we have the euro the euro us usd on the weekly time frame so i'll i'll be doing a in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to use the m and w buttons effectively effectively in the market so guys uh in the market we have four types of the w and m pattern two of each two of the m pattern and two of the w pattern okay the first m pattern the first w pattern will be this one here this one here this one is very much straightforward and the second one we have this one here this cute w pattern can be either like this or it can be like this okay we have these types of w patterns and the types of uh, m patterns we have the normal one and do we have the skewed one and it can be also shown like this okay those are the patterns i'll be explaining to in today's video so let's let me show you how and where they are in the market so guys as you can see here we have this pattern right here the w pattern okay we have we have this pattern here let me go to our daily chart On our current market as you can see here we have this huge excuse me we have this huge w pattern right here um, and using these patterns you, have to first, you, you need you, you you first need to identify how they work so this pattern when the pattern is formed like this you expect it to go down and come up again okay, like this as soon as you get confirmation candlesticks that the market is ready to go to the downside you catch yourselves here and then as soon as it breaks this support level here this support level here you catch more sales to the downside and your take profit would be this potential resistance here another one will be here and 
this would be your potential take profit um, here we have another pattern here which is the w button as you can see it started off here went up created our w pattern and went up again so guys entering in this patterns you first need confirmation candlesticks you cannot just enter recklessly because you're going to blow you're going to blow your, your account trust me okay finding your can your your confirmation candlesticks you 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 first need you first need uh, the first and the second candlesticks to complete first then that's when you can enter but then entering here it's it's a bit risky what you can do is enter after this resistance area to the upside and this here would be your take profit and entering here entering and if you had entered your buy your buys to the upside here you would be you would profit about a clean hundred pips a clean hundred pips and yeah it's that easy it's that easy uh let me show you guys another another example let's go to the to the lower time frames here here we have another we have another uh w pattern a skewed one the pattern started here went to the downside created our pattern and went to the upside okay as you can see here is our pattern so let me let me explain it with this diagram here as soon as the market passes or breaks this uh, resistance area this is where you enter your buys this is where you enter your buys entering your buys here you would expect something like this it breaks it breaks your support and then you 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 will be you would be expecting a a retest to the to the support confirming that uh the market is ready to go to the upside and boom that's how you you catch your bias with you that's how you use your patterns basically in the forex market so here as you can see market broke broke this support here came back to retest as you can see this area here market broke this support here came back to retest and went to the upside and uh, entering your, your your bias to the upside here you would be profiting about plus or minus 50 pips so guys as you can see this strategy using your patterns you, you need to know your patterns you need to know your patterns it's good for scalping it's good for swinging your trades as there's another example here uh the market came down went to the downside created our w button here and went to the upside it's it's this easy it's that easy uh as you can see when the market breaks when the market breaks this support here you enter 
you, uh, you immediately enter your buys to the upside and what did the market do it went to the upside uh rounding about 40 for plus or minus 40 pips it's that easy so let's let's uh i've been doing a lot of w patterns let me look for a m pattern here we have one here market went to the upside created a w pattern here and went to the downside and here you have it your pattern your m pattern here as soon as the market breaks this support here you enter your sell to the downside and your take profit would be your nearest your nearest uh support area and you would you would, you would have profited around about six plus or minus 60 pips on this trade here this trade alone here yeah and so guys there you have it that's how you use your m and w patterns in the forex market um please make sure you subscribe to my channel like my videos and please share i'll see you guys in the next video peace